All right, so the Mets just got Francisco Lindor, but that's not what this video is about. I want to talk about the other piece that they got in that trade, Carlos Carrasco. You see, the thing is with Carrasco, the Mets top four pitchers include Jacob deGrom, Noah Syndergaard, Carlos Carrasco, and Marcus Stroman. So this video is about why the Mets have the best starting rotation in the MLB. Now I think the top two rotations in the MLB are the Padres and the Mets. If you disagree, you can leave a comment down below about why you think your rotation is better than the Padres or the Mets, but for now let's just assume that those are the top two rotations in the MLB. What we're going to do in this video is basically have the showdown, a one-on-one -on -one competition between the different pitchers on each staff. Basically, for example, like if Lamette were to match up against DeGrom, who would I feel more comfortable taking? And at the end of all this, we'll see which staff overall comes out on top. Alright, so let's start with the aces. You got Jacob DeGrom for the Mets, and you got Denelson Lamette for the Padres. Now, you might think Darvish is the ace, but no, Lamette will be the ace. I'm just calling it right now. When I first think about this comparison, my instant reaction is that DeGrom is better than Lamette. But actually, if you look at their stats, they're a lot closer than I would expect. DeGrom has an expected batting average in the 87th percentile, while Lamette has an expected batting average in the 90th percentile. DeGrom has a strikeout rate in the 97th percentile, and Lamette has a strikeout rate in the 94th percentile. All these numbers are pretty close, but just considering the field of work that DeGrom has while Lamette has only really had one successful season, I'm gonna give DeGrom the edge for now. Moving on, you got Yu Darvish versus Noah Syndergaard. Now Syndergaard didn't pitch in 2020, so I think we have a little bit of bias in thinking that Darvish is the better pitcher. But if you don't remember, Syndergaard was a beast. Back in 2019 when he pitched, he ranked in the 91st percentile in exit velocity, 87th percentile in hard hit percentage, and 88th percentile in barrel percentage. If you look at Darvish's numbers, they're not even close to that. Now the one thing that Darvish has going for him is that he has a higher whiff percentage and a higher strikeout percentage. But all this is to say that they're very different pitchers. Darvish is trying to get more strikeouts while Syndergaard is trying to get more soft contact. And both are pretty good at what they do. But I'm going to have to give the edge to Darvish. Syndergaard's coming off of Tommy John and yeah, I, th I think he'll be great when he comes back. But again, if this is about who I would trust more to pitch in a playoff game in 2021, right now I'm going to take Darvish. Now Snell versus Carrasco is probably the hardest decision in this video. They have really similar numbers. Exit velocity is pretty similar, whiff rate pretty similar, strikeout percentage pretty similar, expected batting average pretty similar. Everything about them numerically is pretty similar. This really is a toss up. Uh, I think if you ask me on any given day my answer would change. I personally love Snell because I love the Rays. But yeah, I think on any given day my answer would change for this. So, this one's a tie. So heading into the last matchup, the score is 1-1, one to one, and I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but the reason I'm only doing the top 4 is because that's really all you really need in the playoffs. You only really need 4 starting pitchers. But this is where the Mets prove that they have the best starting rotation in the MLB. Who do we have in the matchup of top 4s? You have V. Marcus Stroman against the infamous, the one and only, the Lone Ranger, Chris Paddock. Now some of y'all think Paddock is a G. Some of y'all saw his rookie season and were like, this is the next big pitcher in the MLB. But I'm here to say that that's not happening. Especially if you watch them in the playoffs. His fastball is one of the most hittable pitches in the MLB. If you watch his games, even the outs he gets with this fastball, some of them look like dingers off the bat. I don't even need to dive deep into the numbers because I know what I've seen and I've seen that Paddock is not effective. As of yet, maybe he'll change, maybe he'll become elite, but what I'm trying to say here is he has not proven to me to this day that he is an elite pitcher. And with that, the Mets win 2-1. to one. If you're a Padres fan, just hope that you don't play the Mets in the playoffs.